So we're going to get back into the swing of things and just vlog my day for you guys. We're going to talk about little Jackie and what's been going on with him. I do have another update for you guys. I am fully obsessed. I actually got my sister to buy one as well. I'm having a super random lunch today, but I literally stood up to come upstairs to start my makeup and then woke up crying. Okay, well, both the boys are clearly up now. I think he thinks I left. I have to go back upstairs and say goodbye to them. Cheese, 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 cheese. cheese. <laughs> Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. Today I figured I would do just a normal vlog of my day to kind of get back into the swing of things with vlogging and getting content up for you guys. I know when I was in Florida I missed an upload and I was doing a lot of little clips here and there throughout the days to have enough for a full vlog but we're going to get back into the swing of things and just vlog my day for you guys and I'm going to share with you guys what I have going on today. So before we jump into the video, if you guys are up to date with my last two videos where I talk about little Jackie and what's been going on with him, I do have another update for you guys on his whole situation. So if you guys are not up to date, I will link those up here for you guys. But the quick little rundown is that he's experiencing or has been experiencing a breakout of hives for at this point. When I took him to the doctors on Monday, it was almost three weeks of these unexplained hives. And I did have some inclinations of what it could be, but we didn't really have any answers. And so I was going to wait um, until today actually to take him to the doctor. But yesterday we actually made plans with Harris's mom to go out to lunch. And then today he was, they were supposed to have a play date um, with a friend that unfortunately got canceled. But when I was deciding on when to take him to the doctor, I was like, should I take him on Monday? Should I wait until Thursday when we're more free? And on Monday, he actually was bringing out in hives quite a bit at school. And so I did wind up taking him to the pediatrician Monday afternoon and we did get some answers. So I wanted to quickly give you guys an update on that before we jump into the rest of the video. So Sunday and Monday, um, he still was breaking out in hives. I wound up doing all their laundry, washing all their sheets, all that kind of stuff. If you guys saw my last video, I wanted to wash everything from Florida just in case it was an environmental allergen that was causing this. And so I did that on Sunday and on Monday, he was still breaking out in hives. He actually had a lot on his legs Monday morning. And then at school, I saw a few forming on his arms. I went to school with him on Monday for a Purim party. Um, so that is when I decided to take him to the doctor. But before I took him to the doctor, I already had his appointment set. Um, I started to do some research on Google and I searched like unexplained um, chronic hives or something like that to see if anything would come up. And something called chronic idiopathic urticaria came up, which is basically chronic unexplained or unknown cause um, hives. Idiopathic means like unknown or unexplained like the cause of it. And then urticaria is just like the medical term for hives. So chronic idiopathic urticaria is basically just like chronic unknown hives. Um, and so I screenshotted that and I sent it to my mom and I was like, I'm going down the rabbit hole. Um, he does have a doctor's appointment today, but here's me going down the rabbit hole. And my mom came back and said that I actually had something like chronic idiopathic urticaria when I was seven that was triggered by cold I think she said and I basically broke out in chronic hives for almost an entire year and the like remedy for it was basically Zyrtec which is an antihistamine like an allergy medication and Benadryl as needed and so I went into Jack's doctor's appointment with this whole statement of chronic idiopathic urticaria in the back of my mind to ask them about if that's what they thought it was. And they had all of Jack's medical information from Florida. So the ER visit and the um, urgent care visit, it was all in his file. So they were able to see all of that. And so after running through basically what has been happening over the last three weeks, I've been taking photos almost every single day of Jack's body of like the life cycle of these hives and what they look like when they first come up, what time of day they seem to be flaring up. I've been taking notes of what we've been doing when they've been flaring up. Like I really documented these rashes and breakouts so that I could go to the pediatrician with as much information as I could to help them diagnose him. And so after that appointment and after taking a full body check of him, really looking at him, looking at all the photos, hearing what I had to say, the pediatrician that we went to, which is our normal pediatrician, but 
we saw a nurse practitioner that I've never seen before. She was really sweet and very open to hearing my long drawn out story with this. She was really good. She too feels like he does have a chronic idiopathic urticaria. For a true diagnosis of that, you basically have to go to an allergist and rule out every other common allergen that these hives could be triggered by. So like pollen, dogs, all that kind of stuff, dust, all the random allergens that are present in his everyday life, those have to be ruled out to really get this diagnosis. Um, so the pediatrician did tell me to start him on Allegra twice a day for the next two weeks and then we will go back to her. She will do a full body check again and if he's still experiencing hives, we can proceed with going to an allergist to get a full concrete diagnosis of this chronic idiopathic urticaria but she feels in her heart of hearts that that's what it is since it doesn't seem to be environmentally triggered and we didn't really do much different like we didn't use different products in florida he didn't really eat anything new the only thing that he was exposed to that was new maybe was like the pollen in florida or my mom's dogs but he's also been around harris's dogs so after all of that, she too feels like he has just these chronic unexplained hives. And so we did go ahead and start him on the Allegra. It's day two now of him being on that. And he actually has cleared up quite a bit. The hives have actually cleared up quite a bit. He has like a few still on his legs that showed up um, on Monday. The ones on his arms are completely gone. And so, so far the Allegra is working really, really well. He is still gonna go in for that follow-up appointment at the end of the two weeks with his pediatrician again. But if the Allegra does wind up working for getting all of these hives to go away, like if it works and gets them to go away and they stay away, I can just continue the Allegra with him for a little bit while longer and then take him off of it and see if they come back. And then if that does wind up happening, we can go see an allergist. So that is a quick little, or not so quick, kind of a drawn out explanation of what's been going on. But that is the update with Jack. We believe he has the chronic idiopathic urticaria and he is on Allegra twice a day now to try and clear that up. So I've been getting some questions over on Instagram if we had any updates with that. Um, and that is a little update with Jackie, but it is early. The boys are at school. I have my coffee here, as you guys can see. Um, my plans for today consist of a whole lot of nothing in the early morning. And then this afternoon, I do have to get myself ready because I have plans with my friends, Casey and Julia. I have not seen them since the end of January. Yeah, I think the last time I saw them was when we went out for Julia's birthday. So it's been over a month since I've seen the girls and we did make plans to go get dinner tonight. So I do have to get myself ready later on and then I'll take you guys along for our little girls outing. We're just gonna go to a Mexican restaurant around here that I absolutely love, get some margaritas, eat some tacos and have a good hangout sesh since we haven't been able to see each other and catch up in person in quite some time. So that is what today's vlog is going to consist of along with whatever clips I decide to take throughout the day. But I did just ramble for almost eight minutes. So I'm gonna go now, enjoy my coffee, relax for a little bit and then I'll jump back on in a little bit. Okay, I'm going to get ready to pick the boys up in a few minutes. I do have to run to the ATM first, so I want to leave a little bit early so that I have time to do that. But before I do that, I wanted to quickly update you guys on two quick things. The first being my phone case. I will link the vlog that I talked about this phone case in. I think it was my packing vlog. Um, but I got this Wally phone case not too long before I left for Florida. And so I've had it for maybe three weeks now. And I have to say, I am fully obsessed i actually got my sister to buy one as well after she saw mine and saw me using it she was obsessed with it as well and so she went ahead and picked up her own but i am so obsessed with this i dropped my phone so much in the last three weeks just because it's chaotic with the boys they want my phone they want to hold it they drop it a lot i drop it a lot when i have a lot of things going on and so i have dropped my phone quite a few times in the last three weeks and nothing happened to it it is still nice and secure and in perfect shape so i can attest to the durability of it but my favorite part of this phone case is the little finger strap especially when i'm holding my phone like this or carrying a bunch of things around the house um, it's so easy to just like grab it by the strap, especially getting on and off the plane with all the bags that I had to carry with the boys. It was so easy to carry my phone by the strap, just like throw it on my thumb and then have like the rest of my hand open to carry other things. I love that. And for the um, card holder, I had my ID in this. So it was super easy to pull that out when flying and show that. So I wanted to update you guys on this. My code is still live for 10% off. I think it's stone 10 and I will have that link down below. And the other thing I wanted to update you guys on is my diaper bag. I got the Fawn Design original mini not too long before we went to Florida as well. And I used that for travel and it was amazing as well. It was the perfect size to fit everything that I needed to fit. And it was so light on my back walking through the airport. My other one, the larger one I talked about how it 
could be heavy when you fill it all the way up. And I had a lot of bags I had to carry flying and the mini diaper bag was so easy to carry on my back. It was like the perfect size. So I wanted to update you guys. I will link that video, like the video where I shared switching my larger font to my mini. Um, I will link that video for you guys as well if you guys are interested, but I wanted to update you guys on those two things really quick. So now I'm going to head out and grab the boys and then when I get back at some point, hopefully they'll go down for a nap today. I will do my makeup then and kind of pick out my outfits and all that kind of stuff. Okay, the boys are in their room for a nap. I'm having a super random lunch today. I'm having some turkey roll-ups, some cheese, some pickles, and some salt and vinegar chips. And I'm hoping that they wind up going down today. Ben did wake up on the earlier side today and he seems pretty cranky. So I think he will settle. And we'll just have to see if Jack settles. And if they do settle, I think I'm going to try and watch um, Housewives of New Jersey now. And then when I'm done eating, just jump into doing my makeup so that that is done. Um, if they don't settle, then I'll do it a little bit later once they are up. But that is my plan for now. Okay, excuse the TV on in the background. But I literally stood up to come upstairs to start my makeup and Ben woke up crying. So I just took him out, but he said he wanted to get back in his bed. So I just put him back in. So we will see if he will settle. I think I'm going to start my makeup and see what I can get done. If I have to take him out and he, and he sits with me inside, I'll have to do that. But... I don't really know what that was about. Okay, it's like 10 minutes later. I'm sure you can hear him in his bed. I did just go ahead and take him out again because he started crying for me. And I asked him a whole bunch of questions about what was bothering him. He told me when he got home from school today that his cheek hurt and I looked in there and it looked like he maybe bit it, but I didn't really think much of it. And now he went from saying his cheek hurts to his mouth hurts to his ear hurts. I looked in his mouth again and they are getting like their last set of molars in the back. So I don't know if that's what's bothering him and the pain is radiating up to his ear or if now he has ear infection, but I don't think ear infections are contagious like that. And Jack had his well over a week ago. And so I have no idea what this could be. So I think I'm going to hold up on my makeup for now and kind of watch him on the cameras and see if he settles. If he does, I'll start getting ready. If he doesn't, when I get them up, I'll get ready with them up in here. Or I'll just wait until Harris gets home from work and quickly get myself ready before the girls come to pick me up. <sighs> Bad timing. I really thought that they were going to nap today so that I could get ready, but at least I still have a few other options for when I can get ready. So I am just going to sit and watch him and see if he settles and then from there formulate a game plan. Okay, well, both the boys are clearly up now. Benny never wound up settling back and he actually woke Jack up. So I got them up, got them some snacks, and it's like to something now so i'm going to sit with them while they play for a little bit and then just take them upstairs with me so that i can get ready i'll probably start getting ready around like three i know that casey is picking joy up around five so that gives me more than enough time okay i was able to throw a little bit of makeup on with the boys up i didn't do like my full makeup routine like my Maybelline 4 in 1 Perfector that I use as foundation. I just really wasn't feeling it today. I wanted to do something a little bit lighter. So I just did bronzer, some blush, concealer, eyebrows, um, bronzer on the eyelid, and mascara. So something super simple. I do have the boys up with me and they are playing in my room and I want to pick out my outfit. I have kind of an idea of what I want to wear. Um, I think we're just dressing pretty casual today. Hold on, let's see if I can find it. Okay, we are dressing pretty casual or so I'm hoping so because I don't really have a like an elaborate outfit planned. But I have this little black sweater from Target that I think I'm going to wear with my lace adore me like scoop neck bralette with a pair of jeans and then maybe just like sneakers or boots that I have. I'm not too sure about the shoes yet, but I think I'm going to try and build an outfit around this. So once I have the outfit planned out, what baby? I want to wear my house. No, they're going to come here and pick mommy up. You want to see them here? Can you see and Julia? Uh-huh. You want to say hi to them? Uh-huh. You can say hi when they get here. Okay? Um, once I have the outfit plans, I'll show you guys a little bit more in depth, but I think I want to plan something around this. I'm trying to hide from the kids because they're not excited that I'm leaving, but I did wind up throwing on that lace adore me bralette underneath the little target button-up sweater with some Abercrombie blue jeans and then my golden gooses as shoes and then this thrifted nine west bag so something super chill but still cute enough i think he thinks i left i have to go back upstairs and say goodbye to them and the girls will be here soon virgin is it a mojito is that what it is it's a cucumber mojito it's a dirty dirty is that what is it 
slutty, <laughs> slutty mango margarita, pineapple margarita. Listen, we would have got to get fries. Is this salmon? Uh, teriyaki salmon and Vietnamese shrimp. I didn't want it to come out one salad? Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, you picked two tacos. I didn't want it to come out that way. Well, we can take our time. I'm still getting more drinks. I'm getting, me too. We're gonna take our nice, sweet time. I wish I could eat shrimp because that looks so it good. Is. It's so good. <laughs> Get me in the video. That's what I got. Let's cheese, 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 cheese. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, say that me. Cheese. Hello. Cheese. Good morning guys. It is now the next day, clearly. I woke up this morning hurting just a little bit from the margaritas that we had last night, but it was such a good night out. It was so needed to catch up with them. Like I said, we haven't been together since went out for Julia's birthday, which was at the end of January. So it's been quite some time and we had a lot to catch up on and it was just a really, really good much needed night out so it was well worth the headache that i woke up with this morning but it is now about 9 45 ish the boys are at school i just picked myself up some coffee and i'm going to sit and watch last night's vanderpump rules episode which if you're caught up with vanderpump and everything going on right now with the whole scandal it is unfolding in front of our eyes especially on tiktok my whole tiktok feed is about the scandal so i feel like i need to stay up to date with the new episodes and not let any of them pass by because people are really reading into them and i live for reality tv bravo is like my favorite channel ever so i'm eating all of this up so i'm going to go and watch my vanderpump rules and close out today's video i hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me and seeing what i had going on yesterday quick side note nothing ever came of what ben was complaining about with his ear or his mouth or anything after they woke up from their nap yesterday, it took them a little bit to get back in good spirits, I think just from like waking up and crying. But as the day went on, I kept asking him if he was okay and he told me yes. And he didn't really complain about it after that. So nothing ever came of that and they were both completely fine last night. And another update on Jack, he actually has been hives free for two days. So that is amazing that the Allegra is working for him and I hope that continues to work for him and I don't have to you know, go through all the trouble of taking him to an allergist and everything like that. I'm hoping the Allegra just really helps with whatever's going on in his little body, but he is doing a lot better. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.